is this week's greatest band ever. Hello friends, welcome to another edition of this week's greatest band ever. Piano, violin, viola, cello, double bass, xylophone, glockenspiel, keyboard, French horn, accordion, harp, mandolin, and even a hurdy-gurdy. All that plus guitar, bass, and drums, and you get our friends from the north, Arcade Fire. And they are back from a three-year hiatus with their new record, The Suburbs, and they are back with a fury. We know a place where no planes go. We know a place where no ships go. The current band was formed in 2003 in Montreal by the future husband and wife duo of Wynne Butler and Regine Chassin... Plus, about seven other people. The promise shown by the band in its early live shows allowed it to land a record contract with the independent record label Merge Records before the end of its first year together. Two full-length albums and two EPs later, the band is set to release their new record, The Suburbs, in August of this year. The Suburbs was announced May 27th of 2010 and is scheduled for a release on August 3rd in the US. Coinciding with the announcement, the band released a limited 12-inch single containing two tracks from the album, The Suburbs and The Month of May. The Butlers indicate that the album's title and songwriting were inspired by the upbringing in the suburbs of Houston, Texas. Not much else is known about the album, but you can expect a stellar experience from the band. The band is on tour of their homeland Canada right now, followed by some US dates including Lollapalooza in August, followed by even more festival dates in Europe. Two songs from the record are now in rotation at X1FM and can be requested by using the contact the DJ button or the request a song button. For X1FM, my name is Andrew and this has been another installment of this week's Greatest Band Ever. Yeah.